friends welcome to shiva connects i know it's been long that i didn't make any videos i went to india it's been like i stayed there for two months then i am finally back with my videos so today i am going to fix my mustang currently my mustang is showing a check engine light so i got a meter to check what is the error code then i'm going to fix that all right um, this is a scan tool i got it from amazon you guys can see it i guess yeah i'm not marketing this tool but this is the cheapest one i found you know how hardly we will get issues with the car we don't know so it's always be better to get the cheaper one and we can use it and i have saw the reviews are good and let's go and get started okay I am in my Mustang car. Let me turn on my engine. You guys can see it has check engine light turned on. So we are going to use that scan tool to see what is the issue and what might have caused this check engine light turned on. Here is our scan tool. So we are going to insert the plug here. So to insert this uh, socket, uh, it will be right below your steering on the left stand side and it's here. So make sure you insert in the right direction. So yeah, I did insert and you guys can see is saying scan let's say scan okay i did some research on google what is the issue with uh, p144c issue so it came out with patch valve issue for my mustang so to rip I we need to replace that item and yeah to replace that item I got I went to the store and they give me this new item I'll put this score under the description you guys can get it too if you have the same issue so let's get started okay to fix your issue you need to open your bonnet so it will be just below this so to remove the top part we need 8 mm wrench for these two and this one three and we need 10 mm wrench for that one so let me remove those Okay, this is the item we are going to replace. Okay, so to remove this, move this red ones, the other side, opposite sides, and just push it back. Don't remove it, just push it back. Oh, there is a button. Please press the button and remove it. okay so this one is removed okay to remove this power card just press this and a little bit okay this came out so to remove this one just push those two side and push it back i think i need a stand up cam for some reasons i couldn't move this uh, green one back 
I would not recommend, but I am removing the screw first. So, it is difficult to remove that green one, like this too small. So, I am removing the screw first. Keep that safe somewhere. And once you get this one up, you know, I think uh, it will be easy to push down that one. okay it came out actually i think it got unlocked so yeah this is the one having issues so we are going to replace with the new one i think something is wrong with the web wire or something a web okay uh as i showed this is a new part i got it from the auto parts I'll put the details of this uh, part in the description so let me go and remove the cover here is our new Pajwal part so first thing we are going we are going to do is attach this one first and then do as much as you can and then lock it so this one is locked right now I think we should be good yes it is locked and I lock the green one you guys can see it then lock this front part push it hard and you can hear the sound and just press that red one towards front just to lock again so it's good and we are going to put this power adapter back yes it's got, it is done too so we are going to place our screw back So it's all good. We will place the hood on the top. back in my car let's start the engine you guys can still see engine light is on so it will not go automatically when you put the new part so we are going to erase that code using the scan tool here is a scan tool and I turn on my engine right now let me turn off my AC real quick so bad. Okay, scanning again right now. Read. Uh, go to menu and erase. Yes. Rescan again. It's reading it. Okay, there is nothing left, no false right now. And you guys can see on the engine right now, no check engine light, so it's turned off. 
that's it uh, all right uh, I did fix my Mustang right now and it's working it's running perfectly I drove like two miles and I don't have any issues okay uh, to be honest guys before fixing that getting that part getting fixed I went to a auto part shop to see if I can fix it for cheaper price trust me they gave me an estimate in two shops for 500 bucks that is the minimum they can do so right now I spent uh, 60 bucks on that uh, part and 20 bucks on that scan tool which is oddly 60 plus 20 80 I can say 100 let's say if it is 100 also so which you are going to save 400 dollars so I would suggest if you have the same issues just do it by yourself to save some money and I hope it will go well for you guys as well and sorry for not making any videos from last two or three months but I am going to make more videos right now thank you guys for your support I hope you guys like it please do watch like share and subscribe to Shiva Connects